On this y and edition of Spotlight On, we're talking to an actress who is, has a distinct vision of doing two roles on one soap. Cameron Garns is next. You're tuning into the destination for TV superfan discussion, After Buzz TV. And now, let the buzz begin. That's right. Welcome to Edbus TV Spotlight on here on EdbusTV.com. I'm one of your hosts, James Lott Jr. And today joining me is one of my GH co-stars who is actually starting the Young and Restless After Show here on Edbus TV this Sunday. <laughs> the Restless Wrap Up, Lucretia Lyon. Hey guys, and yeah, since there is only one, you can find me anywhere at L A C R E T I A L Y O N. And there's only one. I looked. Only one. Our guest, she she's actually really good about talking about television shows. I'm like, this should be a host after buzz. But her day job, she's in the elite company of daytime people who have gone onto one show, two different characters. A child actress for playing Cassie. Adult mm -hmm. actress playing Mariah. Mm -hmm. And she's also done some prime time work, of course, and some guest spots on different shows. She's also a daytime Emmy Award winner. Mm -hmm. That's right, girl. Ladies and gentlemen, Cameron Grimes. Ah, hi. 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 I don't know. I'm See, there's the studio audience. The studio <laughs> audience. We're clapping. How are you, girl? I'm good. How about you guys? Thanks for being here. Thanks for being here. Of course. Here. This is awesome. Now, we're going to go immediately and cut to you. This is your life when you won your Emmy. Oh, man. Let's cut to that. Back here in 2000. Emmy winner, Martha Burns. Love Martha Burns. Here are the nominees for Outstanding Younger Actress in the Daytime this, Drama. This clip is called Watch My Grandparents Freak Out. <laughs> on both the Love Amber. Floor. I love her. Adrian Brown. Cassie on yeah. Young and the Restless. Oh, you're so cute. What happened? Megan on The Young and the Restless. And it's our girl, Joe Hoffman. Yes. And Victoria on The oh, Young and the Restless. Oh, Heather Tom. Heather Tom. Jessica on oh, Young and the Restless. Jessica on Young and the Restless. And the Here we go. Too. Cameron Grimes, The Young and the Restless. <laughs> Your reaction is just the best. <laughs> well, yeah, I know. I, I can never forget it because I got made fun of it in school for years. I came back from New York and the kids were like, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I've never spoke about it again. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> but Martha Byrne tells Bell you Bell. the breeze. Uh, Mr. I mean, Mr. and Mrs. Bell. <laughs> you changed the name. Uh, oh my my no. parents told me to say Mr. and Mrs. It was polite. <laughs> yes. All the producers, directors, and writers <laughs> of Young and the Restless, and my whole family. <laughs> and um, I just want to thank Breeze. God. <laughs> 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 thank you very much. You're so, look at your hair, how long your hair is. That was a whole yeah. extension piece. That, that was the 90s, so there were like yeah. butterfly clips. <laughs> like, oh, thing. butterfly clips. <laughs> I don't think I could ever top that red carpet moment. I like to the <laughs> 40 years from now, they're going to be like, what's your red carpet? But I'm like, actually, I really am just going to go back to that one. <laughs> well, we did actually, We I think I think I posted it too. We have a picture of her red carpet from this year. Oh, yeah. It was another light another, blue. Yeah. Yes, there we go. We're gonna show it to everybody. It was beautiful. Yeah, yeah I love that dress. So no, you talked it, girl. Yeah, yeah thanks. Oh, I beautiful. um, it, it wasn't I, it wasn't something I would have normally chosen. It was okay. a little lighter, like more kind of spring. I usually, mm -hmm. you know, black or something yeah. like. I yeah. I said, every year I look best in black. Black's good with you know red hair. Yeah. It's yeah. slimming. <laughs> <laughs> and every year I say I'm gonna choose a black dress, like oh something, and I never end up wow. choosing a black <laughs> dress. <laughs> this was awesome. It was Mark Zunino, and okay. they were they were absolutely fabulous there. And the the blue, I you know have my hair uh, yeah. different, more redder color now, and it's it it's beautiful. just it was fantastic. It was mm. it was great. It's beautiful. A very adult. Yeah, it had the most amazing <laughs> train. It was elegant. Yeah. yeah, I yeah. I am a huge huge fan of probably now I'm like on Mark Zunino's Instagram. <laughs> Actually, Mariah Carey just wore oh. um, the my second 
what was my like second choice yeah. like the dress that I was going back and forth but between these two so oh really yeah oh go girl okay. no he's amazing he's a wonderful wonderful designer I'm very very grateful to have uh, worn one of his pieces oh, we have people in the chat room already saying yeah. hi and they're all excited hi, people guys. Are watching so she's here hi everyone um well, we talk about, so how was, do you remember, you talked about the aftermath being teased at school, but how was, at that age, could you comprehend Emmy or what that meant? No, I mean, my, you always talk about, like, the child star stigma, mm-hmm. and, uh, and, and, you know, stage moms or stage dads or everything like that. I actually got really lucky because my, you know, my uncle was an actor. Scott, Scott Grimes. Grimes. He's on like ER, especially. He does American Dad, too. He's yes, American he Dad. does. He's with oh. Steve Smith. Um, yes. But he started when he was really younger. He's actually an amazing singer as well. Oh, wow. So he started on Broadway when he was six. Oh, wow. And so my grandparents did that whole thing with him oh. starting up to, you know, they moved out here and he was with all the 80s kids and stuff like yeah. that, the teens. And um, and so he's been working for a long time. They did it with him. They kind of had the runaround. I saw him acting. I really, really, really wanted to do what Uncle Scott did. Yeah. And my grandma was a talent agent. And so oh, wow. it was it was not like such a big deal. I was really the one to, to pursue it. And, and they kept me very, very humble. So every time the Emmys came around um, and, and I was nominated, for three years in a row, mm-hmm. um, when I started, it <laughs> they were happy and proud of me. They were yeah. like, "Oh, you're never, you're, you're never gonna win." Okay. okay. Then, you. you know the thing, great to be nominated. Mm-hmm. Yep, yeah. great to be. You realize <laughs> they kept me so wow. humble, and they're like, "We're gonna go to New York. We're gonna have a great time." Okay. Mm-hmm. okay. And you're nominated, okay. and that's yeah. it. It's so you're never yeah. gonna win. So I, I literally never. It was never even an option. Yeah. I was just like, "Oh, I'm so excited. I get to, New York's my favorite. I get to go with my family." And so, um, it was a, it was a giant shock. So much so that I couldn't speak speak. uh, or breathe Um, (laughs) and yeah I remember I mean really the I think Shamar Moore had just won (laughs) before me I was backstage and I had no clue what was going on and he was great he kind of he kind of like grabbed my hand and walked me through the whole thing I they didn't bring my my grandparents were panicking in their seats like where do we what do we do where do we go we do she's gone like (laughs) they they have absconded our our granddaughter to god knows where yeah so they were, uh, yeah. It was a, it was a really crazy experience for uh, me and my my whole family. Totally unexpected. Yeah, Lucretia, what's your thing? Well, we were talking beforehand, and since James and I are both like super big Spice Girls fans, oh, we're gonna yes. turn the table. We have to know yes. which Spice are you. <laughs> Why don't you go on and take mm-hmm. a guess? I'm gonna go with Ginger. 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 Yeah, Ginger. <laughs> My favorite yeah. too. My I favorite was too. always, um, I was always ginger yeah. when I would play with my friends. <laughs> but I, I think, I think maybe it just got lobbed on me, like, uh, like, oh yeah, okay, I'm ready for ginger. Yep. <laughs> and, and, but I really did. Uh, she was my favorite. I really liked her. Yeah, mine too. A lot. Yeah. I actually finished reading. I actually finished reading her book. Mm. She had a book called Only She's a If. Book? Yeah, called Only If oh. about her time with Spice and when she left immediately oh. afterward. It wasn't oh. the same without her. I think it, it wasn't. wasn't. It no. never, it never reco- recovered because Ginger well. was the best. Well, if they go on tour this this year or later this year, oh, I'm gonna be there. Oh, me too. Oh, girl, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be there. there. Yeah. 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 With like my old dolls that played the music. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh no, I was I was a gigantic fan. Yeah, yeah. I had the dolls, a lunchbox, a bicycle. <laughs> you go to yeah. Toys R Us, you get the lollipops that oh, have yeah. those weird little like wrap up yes. posters in oh, them. Oh yeah, it was so, so funny. funny. Oh yeah. my god. So this time you won the Emmy for playing Cassie Newman, of course. Mm-hmm. Very beloved child actor. <laughs> I mean, we talk about a couple of child actors today that are kind of standing out, but you're like one of the first that kind of really stood out. Oh, thanks. As an, as an actress, because you were a good actress. <laughs> Thank but all, you. But you were so. just a cute kid. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> yeah. But all those powerhouse actors, I mean, you were Josh Morrow and Sharon Case yeah. and, and Eric Braden and I mean, all these people. I mean, you were, I mean, how did, how did Young Russell come into your orbit? Well, like, like how did I get, get, yeah. get the role? Yeah. Or, um, you, I, it was, I think it was my first theatrical audition. I had, you know, my grandma, like I said, my grandma had been putting it off and like kind of uh, saying like, oh no, she's going to want to do it. And she thought that I would go on a couple auditions and get bored and not, um, and I didn't, I booked a couple of commercials and then yeah. she was like, okay, well maybe we'll send you out on, yeah. on theatrical stuff. And I went into, um, 
I, I studied with my grandfather and and who I studied almost every single scene wow. I ever wow. did on the show when I was younger with we would like rehearse them and and uh, and I went in there and I think um, what what the casting directors um, Gail Camacho and Marnie Saida okay. who were the casting directors at the time say is um, what sealed the deal is I went in there and they were like okay Cameron do you have any questions and I was like yes <laughs> I do. Um, would you like me to do the scene with this in? And I proceeded to take out my flipper. I had lost my two front teeth. Oh, wow. And I had a replacement, like, you get yeah. a retainer with, yeah. like, two fake yeah. teeth. I, had, I said, do you want me to do the scene with this in or with this out? <laughs> <laughs> and they looked at each other and they were like, why don't you do the scene with it out? <laughs> and I was like, okay, thank you very much. Oh. And, I, and I put it into my... And, um, yeah, they said they said that was the moment they... I'm, I'm sold. They I'm knew, sold. I, I, apparently it was very precocious. <laughs> <laughs> so... <laughs> Well, let's um, talk about Mariah, your other character. Yeah. So, were you approached, or did you ask to come back? Good yeah. question. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, came yeah. out of absolutely nowhere. I uh, got a call from Ooh. my agent, and <laughs> even she was like, she knew what she <laughs> yeah. was saying. She was like, so, <laughs> why not wants you back for a couple episodes? And I went, wait. <laughs> I'm dead. A, a couple, like, <laughs> yeah. right, no, not, not a ghost. I've, yeah. I've come back yeah. every now and I was coming throughout the years. I've yeah. come back as a ghost or a dream or yeah. one episode. And she's like, yeah. yeah, like four to six. And I was mm. like, what? I'm confused. Right. <laughs> what do you mean? And so um, I I didn't, I came out of nowhere. Um, and then four, it really was supposed to be four to six. Okay. As that, you know, the ghost, the, the, the hallucination, yes, the if hallucination. you will. And, yeah. um, and then it kind of evolved. Episodes just kept coming. Wow. So it was like four to six turned into like six to ten and mm-hmm. then ten to twenty. And wow. after a while I asked like, oh, okay, <laughs> what, is there any sort of plan? Mm-hmm. Yeah, pilot season was coming up, oh, and right. I was like, and I was like, okay, d- just let me know if there's any sort of plan because it seems like this is an ending. Right. And they're like, yeah, <laughs> we're we're throwing around an idea. Okay. And from there, I waited. I I basically was the last to know anything. I, oh. I I almost waited as long as the audience itself. Oh, okay. I really only knew, you know, a week or so before we were starting oh, really? to film the reveal stuff and they yeah i think they were throwing around a couple ideas and then they finally settled on you're going to be an entirely different person and mm-hmm. nah, and then it was the other you're going to be a twin so wow. yeah mm-hmm. it was like a very yeah. so you didn't know so, yeah. so basically your job was i'm just going to give me the pay and get my mm-hmm. sides i'm going to study them act like i'm supposed to act at any given time, and then what happens happens. Well, yeah, it's my, that, that that at the end of the day is my job. So yeah, like, yeah. I was I, I was happy to be there, and it was yeah. a very weird, like different environment. I was trying to like, yeah, I was yeah, I was just happy to be back there and see mm. see some old faces. Oh yeah, they, they, faces. really about Young and Restless, and I think Lucretia, Lucretia can agree. Mm. A lot of the same people stay on the show for yeah. a long period of time. But at the same time, it was it was funny. Being back there, I you know there was half the people that were new, oh, okay. and I had some of the newer people being like, "Hi, how are you? How are you? How are you doing? How are you? Oh, are you excited? How long have you been in LA? <laughs> Not their fault. They had right. no clue yeah. just because the if seven years is a long time yeah. that they don't know. And yeah. and I was like, oh, I've been. My whole life, they're like, how long have you been working for? Mm. Like, no clue that I had oh, been on funny. the show. Oh, that's so before, funny. Before, yeah. even for you know the ten years that I was on yeah. it initially, um, and I, I, I was very, very politely like answered. And then later they came back. They're they like, oh my god, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I had no clue that you were like on the show, <laughs> and you were like an actress. And I was like, yeah, yeah. yeah so that I had no clue you were an actress. I got treated like, yeah. like a like a new 
newbie for a little bit, yeah. but that was okay. I was it, it was very it was it was humbling, and I got to earn earn my stripes back. Is that funny? Probably yeah. was very humbling, was it? Like they don't know It was like I I feel like I try to humble myself. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> very very self deprecating. So I try to humble myself literally minute by minute basis. Yes. But but that was mm-hmm. that was especially humbling. Yeah. <laughs> sure on that one. Yeah. So um, what's it like? Because I'm a big Kevin and Mariah fan, and mm-hmm. that's why I'm not liking Natalie. But <laughs> how is it to work with Greg Rickard, who's oh, also yeah. been on the show, but he's never aged. He yeah. doesn't age. Yeah. I know, at he doesn't all. doesn't age. He's like one of the yeah. better looking, he, he's just like fabulous looking, and not only that, he's... I mean, he's literally one of the nicest people, funniest people mm-hmm. on the planet. Like, wow. he taught me so much about comedic timing. I mean, mm-hmm. we started doing, we had our first scene together, and I had known Greg, you know, briefly no. in mm-hmm. during the whole teen stuff with, like, Lily oh, okay. and mm-hmm. Daniel yes. and all of that, and Thad and, and everybody. Oh, yeah, yeah. And so we had barely got to, we interacted maybe once or twice, and we got a scene together, mm-hmm. and we were like, so this is weird. <laughs> and, like, so, and it's sort of from that first moment that we were like, this is a strange... <laughs> no, strange friend. Why do we have no. scenes? Yeah. We took that energy and that like attitude uh, and okay. that's what we kind of carried into every moment and then it developed we kept saying like this is crazy that they are and they're right we loved what they were writing for us and i kind of really took note from him like he's so funny he's so good and he's has this timing that is just hysterical and i was like i can really learn from this comedy is was not my forte which is so funny like my bread and br- butter was like, yeah. you know, the dramatic crying yes. scenes yes, and it all was, of that. It and, was. Oh, and, uh, and to do, to go into literally such beat specific comedy with Greg was, it was an incredible learning experience. I'm so grateful to, to work with him. I interviewed Eric yeah. Brayden recently. Mm-hmm. Yes. And I loved him. <laughs> one of my favorite people. And one of my favorite people now, too. Yes. Like, to meet him. And we talked off screen and everything. And he's a great guy. And he mentioned and talked people that he liked on the show. He mentioned your name. Really? He did. Oh, that's so sweet. That kind of <laughs> he did. He, me mentioned, he, mentioned several, he mentioned several people and he's just saying that are good actors. He goes, with this good company of actors, and he said, Kevin Ryan. Well, one thing about Eric, he will give you your opinion. <laughs> yes, I know that else. He will give you his opinion, <laughs> which is one of the things that I, I, I love about him. Um, yeah, I love him. We're working with him when I was younger and, and yeah. even the stuff that we had. Yes. The reveal stuff. I was so... Uh, grateful. It was those scenes were so fun. I actually am disappointed that our characters don't yeah. connect because those were so fun and mm-hmm. and and, and like iconic to play off of yeah. each other. And it was a very fun dynamic. How is it with you and Sharon Case and Josh Morrow? Because mm-hmm. you are literally their child, <laughs> and you come back this grown woman, another yeah. character. I mean, how is it like, the dynamic for you guys? I have two entirely different relationships with 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 Sharon and with Josh. Sharon mm-hmm. is always like a big sister. Okay. So uh, when I was younger, it was you know it was very teaching, and she was very yeah. Uh, um, Instructive, and then when I got a little bit older, we, we would talk about boys, oh, and, we would talk, and she always had advice, and she, you know, she was always there for me. Josh was definitely more like my oh, okay. second dad. Oh, so, growing up, <laughs> and especially when I came back, oh, sure. was, oh, sure. was, was a very different yeah. <laughs> experience. You know, it's, it, I'm sure it was probably like watching one of his kids. You know, <laughs> grow up and yeah, yeah, yeah. you know we were very close in two totally different ways um and it's it, it's fun i I, yeah. I love working with both of them i'm glad that i get to work with both of them a little bit more i haven't worked with josh so much yeah but i get that because mariah you know cassie was his adoptive mariah it's not like even he's mariah's right. dad it's right. to- something totally they've different got, right? but they recently <laughs> right, yeah but recently <laughs> recently they've started to kind of explore that a oh, little okay. a little yeah. bit different when yeah. they were than when they were exploring it before when mariah had a crush Push on him yes, i was I like i really not okay i was okay that either i was like uh ew, <laughs> ew. Like, ew. yeah i think 
think most people were like that. I was, I was pretty, I was pretty glad when that was. It was part. very Games of Thrones. Yeah, Game of Thrones. It was totally. very Game of Thrones. Like, <laughs> not in a sexy way. Yeah, yeah. just but gross. Mm-hmm. Red, our Rebel fans, I wish Nick and Mariah were closer on the show. They don't interact much. Yeah, I, d- yeah. I do too. You'll start to see moments where, especially starting this week and 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 further on, especially in the wake of. Um, Sage dying and everything like that. You'll start to see more tenderness and and more closeness with them. Yeah, because I loved it. You just hugged him, you know, in the show. Yeah. Like that. That's all it was needed. And, yeah. You know, Mariah doesn't yeah. know what to say in those yeah. situations yeah. anyway. <laughs> So that was sort of like, uh, okay, I'm just gonna yeah. go. For it. I've seen, it's almost like she's mimicking what she's seen people do, yeah. and and that's her form of of reaching out. Wow, you have another question on that? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, what did you think whenever they handed you the script that says you're gonna have a crush on Nick and you're gonna make a move? <laughs> like, um. Well, one, I thought it was. I thought it was a joke. Yeah. Like, I wasn't sure. Um, you know, it was a it was a direction, and I, you know, I totally support our writers and and what they. This is a show that's on every single day. Yeah, no, it is. Yeah. And they're constantly trying things out and and seeing what you know. That was a time where I was Mariah and I was here and I and and there wasn't much to go from there is like okay well what do we do with this character now now that the reveals happen and so they tried Kevin Murray they tried Nick and they teased Austin and yeah. they they were trying out all these different relationships you know yeah. Tyler and 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 yeah. Abby and and um you know in I think they were trying mm-hmm. something that was interesting and it made sense if I you know I really thought about it I was like okay I guess this would happen this is the first man in her life that has mm. been a positive mm. good guy and you know she's not related to, she doesn't know yeah, really. yeah as far as she she's concerned he's you know so attractive i'm probably the one person by the way on the planet that is like that if josh morrow was like hey, i'd be like get away get away he thinks it's hysterical by the way and we're constantly joking about it um but you know we both we, we both had a moment where we were like up you know we went up there and we we're like this isn't <laughs> you gotta go any further, right? Like you're not gonna. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> so it had its it had its moment. Yeah. Well, thick hater says, "I hope Mariah gets a story love storyline soon. We've waited long enough, and people are agreeing with her." Oh yeah, I think that Mariah has a love story. Okay, because I think she. I know what they mean. I know what mm-hmm. they mean. You know, a, a romance, and and I and I agree. But I think it's important, especially on a soap opera where you okay. see these sweeping romances and sex and passion and all that, to explore what different kinds of love look like. And that is Kevin and Mariah. Yeah. These these kind of undefined relationships where y- you know mm-hmm. you or I or anybody has in their regular life mm-hmm. like. To see that on a soap opera, I think, is is endearing where, you know, you could, there's all of these, like, is it the wrong time, or is it just, are we just friends, or is there more, or is there attraction, or is it, yeah. And people have bad sex. No, it happens. They do. It's, 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 it's happens. Happens. not fun. So I was yeah. glad to be the first person <laughs> in the history of soap operas <laughs> <laughs> to have bad sex. I thought, I, by the way, I thought it was hysterical. Oh, I, like, read the script, <laughs> and I was like... Of course it's me. <laughs> <laughs> of course I am the one. <laughs> I love that, by the way, because I love the Kevin and Mariah relationship, however you define it, to me, and that's why I am all about hating on Natalie. How about you? Are, you want a real full-on cat fight, right? Yeah. I think, you know, you almost yeah. don't, because yeah. if you get the full-on cat fight, yeah. you have nowhere to go, go from there. Yeah. And the snarks and the jabs <laughs> and the lines like are those. so yes. good, I yes. have to give just the, the most gigantic credit to um, all of the credit really mm-hmm. to the writers who mm-hmm. write you know Greg's material and Mars mm-hmm. material and my material and and mm-hmm. how that all comes together it's I mean it's I think it's gold personally yeah. <laughs> how do you handle the pace now because things are different than when you were on the show the first time the pacing of a soap and how they just 
block once, get it done. I mean, how do you? Well, that's where that that's what I grew up doing. Okay, so you mm-hmm. I go I go to a primetime show. I just did um <laughs> an episode of Animal Kingdom oh, on okay. TNT, yeah. okay. and which was amazing. But it's definitely the hurry up and wait. So you're like, oh, but I'm <laughs> <laughs> for like hours in your in your trailer, and you're like, oh, this is different. Um, <laughs> soap operas are hurry up and and keep hurrying, don't stop hurrying. Yeah. So it's um, I I'm used to it. That's where I am comfortable. So yeah. um, we just make sure to, especially with the the beats and the pacing of of Greg and I scenes or Greg and Mara and I scenes mm-hmm. we uh, run them a lot oh, we, you, okay. we try to run them and we try to get uh, we try things out and we you know try to get it get good, all worked a good, out first a good rhythm yeah. yeah Greg's really big on running which has been awesome mm-hmm. for for me especially like trying to see if I can try certain things that are like you know funnier or, and I know if Greg's Greg laughs I'm That's like good. okay I'm keeping that, <laughs> yeah. I'm keeping that. <laughs> it's like uh, speaking of ri- rivals are Mariah and Summer becoming friends <laughs> Mariah and Summer is actually maybe my favorite relationship because I think it has this potential there's this weird (laughs) like this like kinmanship is that a a word? kinship Kinship. Kinship. there's this weird kinship with them um, where they went through stuff together Yeah. Um, they're two totally different people so they don't like relate to each other but if you know there was a gun pointed at both of them, they'd have each other's back. Like okay. they'd figure something out. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think it's this lovable sort of <laughs> contempt okay. there, okay. if yes. that makes any sense. And um, Hunter and I really enjoy having. Yeah, what do you scenes. think, Lucretia, about that? Yeah, like I always see Mariah is almost like Summer's big sister that has absolutely nothing in common with her. <laughs> yeah, that's what you hear. It's, it's like almost, you love her, but you, you, hate you have her. siblings yeah. like yeah. that. Yeah. Where like you're like, you know what? I love you so. I have absolutely <laughs> nothing in common I do have that, with yes. you. Um, yeah, they're they're both like that, but I think under under pressure, they're they actually would would fight for each oh, other. Yeah. They're family. Okay. okay. Yeah. Well, you are family. Yeah, yeah in some that's weird that's, sort of way, they're, yeah. they're family too, and I think that's kind yeah. of brought them closer as well. And someone also wanted to know they actually were saying that the episode where I guess you and Kevin talked about your relationship was played so well. Hmm. Um, when. They, just, they, they said. Hmm. The in the coffee shop? I think so. Hmm. When you guys talked about it was. Well, by so the way, well that's 30%. Per, that's 95% of our conversation. <laughs> Not talking in the coffee in shop. The coffee shop. <laughs> Um, yeah, I loved those scenes. I, the scene I did with Christian where I was talking about Kevin and Mariah's relationship and like what, you know, him not giving, you know, her a cut of the money felt like that was a really funny part of the story because (laughs) Greg at one point was like, well, yeah, I don't think that, you know, Kevin should, Kevin is, you know, Mariah's asking for Kevin's money and I was like. Well, but <laughs> she did push Kevin, him to do this. Yeah. Kevin said yeah. that Kevin and we started yeah. getting it, and we like both were on the side, and we were oh, laughing. So we're like, funny. "Oh, that's that's funny. We actually <laughs> like are on the side of our character. It, ma- it made for a better scene." And Christian J. LeBlanc doesn't age either. Yeah, is and what Christian J. LeBlanc does not age. No. he doesn't age at all. No, either. have you seen his body? Yes, it's, it's amazing. Insane. I will never have that body. <laughs> oh, no. as long as I live, oh I will never. Oh my god, he just ha- looks he's incredible. So he looks he's better now ripped. than he did before. I know. And to, and talk about truly like one of the nicest. I've heard. He is a funny guy. Like he's he, hysterical. Him and Sean Kerrigan. Oh like I've interviewed <laughs> them together, like, and oh it was just fun, so fun. <laughs> I, yeah. it's, How do you deal with them? I, <laughs> I'm only happy to because to sit back and watch them. They're like the oddest friends. Yeah. It's like, by, the, by the way, it's Sean Kerrigan's birthday yeah. today. So oh, happy, oh, happy birthday, Sean. 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 A happy birthday. Um, she, just, she just interviewed, she's interviewing Sean at the Emmys and, and Christian. Christian just steps in and is yeah, like, he's not, not so nominated. Nice. I think Christian <laughs> stepped in on everyone's yeah. interview. But you're, oh, only, no. you're only too happy to have him do so oh. because he oh, just, he has. funny. I, I don't know how he has, I've never seen him. Like, oh man, I'm so tired. Oh, wow. oh, I've had a hard day. <laughs> like he does, that doesn't that's not an emotion that exists for him. He's yeah. always one hundred percent like like he's had like seven Red Bulls and he's <laughs> he's happy to, he's always happy. He's amazing. He's a truly incredible person. Oh, what are you doing? 
Yeah, so Christian and Sean do stand up. They do. Um, and they're really funny. Would you ever think about it? Because your comedic timing is great. We've talked yeah. about it. Oh, okay. Because uh, yeah. uh, we do, we go and we do these teas um, with Kate Linder. Yeah, yeah, for, yeah. For March of Dimes, yeah. we go to Canada. So we did, um, uh, I went with Christian and Melissa and Robert to Toronto uh, last year. And then we just went to Calgary and mm-hmm. Sean stepped in for Christians. But we're all going to Vancouver oh, wow. in July. So that's going to be a lot of fun. So anybody in Vancouver, Canada, mm-hmm. that area um, that wants to come, go to uh, the Opportunities with Kate's Tea with friends. Oh, and good. Go get tickets to come see us because yeah. that is going to be a yeah. good show. Yeah. Um, I've, it's really scary. You have to sort of be a little bit of a writer. I feel like. Yeah, I mean, because I'm a stand-up She's comedian. So, yeah. yeah, you have to like write everything da- down. Right? And then and just then, have yeah. like it, it really scares me. I actually yeah. have stage fright. Oh, so, oh really? Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, really? I do. I have pretty bad stage fright. Um, which doesn't mm-hmm. people don't think yeah. that yeah. makes any sense. But when it's. <laughs> Like like yeah. with singing or with I would get so nervous. I definitely would want to try it one day. I want I want to go see them do it first yes. and maybe yeah. that watch the them. stress and yeah. anxiety of it. Always drink. That's, Always. That's, that's the key to being a stand up comedian. That's the key to life. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Thank you. I know. Like that sounds good to me. Mm-hmm. I'm kidding. So do you, so do you also do you also sing too? You're saying mm. do you sing at all? Um. Have some music call. To myself. <laughs> well, look, your, your uncle Scott Grimes, he's an actor. He's also an amazing sings. singer. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think that's that's, that's part of where my 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 fear and anxiety. He's like a technically perfect. I've never heard someone just be able to sing anything. Wow. Like mm. any. He is a technically perfect singer, and it's very hard to to also think that you can sing in like a family so I just usually go with like no people are like oh can you sing I'm like no Um. no I do people say that I can um I would love I mean I'm a huge uh, musical theater nerd so like that'd be fun doing a musical would be like my my end all be all but I'd have to um I take singing lessons so I'd have to really get over that I want to bring up something we mm-hmm. talked about before you got here. Yeah. You want to do a scene at some point, and I was mentioning people who do this really well, of Mariah and Cassie. I do. Mm-hmm. And I was telling her to watch David Canary, oh, as yes. David Adam Stewart, mm-hmm. and Vicky and Erica Slazak as Vicky and Nikki, and I was like, she should watch them to get an yeah. inspiration. I'm, I'm, I'm really, I'm pushing for this. So I mention it in a lot of interviews because yeah. I think it would be a cool opportunity, one, for the show to kind of explore a what if mm-hmm. moment, but also for me as an actress, I'm like chomping at the bit. Like I would, would love to play opposite myself and right. really try to hone in the differences. One of what Cassie would be like now, mm-hmm. and you know who Mariah is and and how they would interact together and not have it be like sticky or you know or or you know like the mannerisms or that they you know really make it subtle differences but but real differences and and that would be something that it would be a huge challenge for me and i think about that yeah, I love that idea. Are you hearing that, Chuck Pratt Jr.? <laughs> yeah, see, this is, because, yeah, I mean, or Levin Rambin on All My Children also did yes. a good job oh. playing two characters. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. And then, of course, David Canary, Erica Slays. Like, they've done it on soap so much. Mm-hmm. So, like, it really has surprised me how they've never opened I mean, that up on I mean, Peter my Bergman own. just did just it. Did. Yeah. I don't know if I could do it that beautifully. Like, he, he was he, so good. Yeah, he they were so, so good. Yeah. Were so he different. was so good. And I just, I just remember seeing him in the halls and thinking, like, oh, my God, that poor guy is, like, mm-hmm. pulling, like, double dude. Yeah, no, and he no. already works so hard and yeah. so much, and he's so dedicated. So but I would think just for an actor that just you would, you'd want to do. Like, I'll work ten hours a day. And oh get no, this that, that would be something. I would be like, I will be here day in and day out. I will do, I, do whatever it takes. That's the sort of challenge that you are like, you're excited for. Yeah, Alicia. Yeah. Uh, actually, our Melvin fan has a question. What would your dream role on Broadway be, Cameron, since you love musicals? Ooh. Oh, my gosh. My yeah. dream. Uh, now I have to go into all of my <laughs> favorite Mine would be Chorus Line. Mine, Sweeney Todd. Mine, <laughs> mine Sweet might be, um, God, I really love Rent. Oh, that's, oh, a, good yeah, that's a good one. I can see you in that. Oh, mm-hmm. I really love Spring Awakening. Mm-hmm. Um, I could do Wenla. I mean, I, I don't have the... the chops to 
do Alphaba in, in Wicked. In Wicked. Yeah. 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 But for though. anybody, <laughs> it'd be a great. This Linda. is, by the way, this yeah. is how um, this is how big of a fan I am. My um, my hairless cat's name is Alphaba. Oh, how Aww. funny! <laughs> I, call, I call her Alfie. Um, <laughs> Yes. <laughs> it's a great <laughs> musical. I saw it three times. Great musical. Yeah, I've seen it twice. Yeah. Um, it's, it's, oh, it's so good. It's so good. It's the so good. The one that I'm dying to see that I don't think I'll get to see before um, Lynn Manuel. No. Oh, Hamilton! Yeah. I want to see it so bad. I, I told my boyfriend at the Pantages. I told my boyfriend that, like, I'm like, you know what? You don't have to get me a ring. <laughs> you could just get me Hamilton tickets and it would mean more. <laughs> Forget the ring I almost cursed. Yes, I Forget <laughs> the ring. Almost, almost. Hamilton tickets yes. immediately. Yes, because I loved his In the Heights. No. I saw that. And I, was, yeah. I thought it was beautiful. And this music is I'm hearing so many amazing. I've heard the music. It's just like. It's. I, but <sighs> see, I've I've abstained from listening to it because. Okay. It's only if I really can't see it, okay. lot, and which I don't think I'll be able to. It's like up in July. Yeah, yeah. I know. We'll so yeah. it, it's only if I really, really can't find a way to see it, um, then I'll, I'll listen to the music. Yeah. So I've heard I'm, certain songs. I didn't hear the whole thing, but I heard you cry, you laugh. It's just, oh, I heard yeah. it's just like... Yeah, and I just saw him on John Oliver doing um, the, that, <laughs> that piece on the Puerto Rico. Was it, was it Puerto yes, Puerto Rico, Rico yes. Yeah. Oh, my God, he's so good. Well, I saw him on Amy Schumer when he, when he was, yes, he was trying, to, yeah. trying to pitch a show with Betsy Ross or whatever. Yeah, the oh Betsy God. Ross was yes. funny. Yeah. <laughs> it was funny. <laughs> he's like, what? Okay, so, but no, yeah, the, the Hammer's going to be great. Yes. Can you go ahead and have a question? Oh, let's see. Well, I guess I don't see any in the chat. Yeah. So, how is it like work, you know, coming back to Y&R and playing a different character and seeing all, you know, did you really have to work on getting different dynamics with Nick and Sharon and, and everybody? Um, yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. I think the writers did a good job of really crafting the character of Mariah and really making her um, different, but reestablishing myself was, as Cameron, was a, a little hard. Like, okay, like, I have to get to know these mm -hmm. people again. And it took a long time to get comfortable uh, again. It's a very tight-knit group that works like clockwork, and, yeah. and I had kind of been out of it for a while, and there's a lot of catching up to do, and, yeah. you know. But I... Um, I'm now at the point where it's like it's totally I I you got this I, I get yeah. this yeah. I'm close with everybody it's more it, you know it's 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 friendlier it's, I've been there I think two two and a half years now so mm -hmm. it's it's like I never left now how's the crew cool oh. <laughs> the crew's the best I mean right. honestly they don't get enough right. credit for for what they do which is is really just. Insane. I mean, the sets that they build, the, the 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 lighting, how fast they work. Like if you if you sat in and saw, you know, the light. We do one rehearsal, really, wow. and and yeah, they kind of have, but they go in, they fix the they fix the lights, the cameras are adjusting, and then, boom! Suddenly we start filming, and it's all like it's all wow. smooth sailing. It's all, wow. and they're they're insane, and they they work so hard. They work longer hours than we do. They work harder than we do, and they're they're the real the real geniuses. What are some of the shows that you've done prime time that you've really enjoyed doing guesting on? Um, I, I the one I just did with Animal Kingdom okay. was probably my favorite. Okay. Um, the the writing was, it's gonna be such a good show. Yeah. It's yeah. like a show that I would yeah. watch. Yeah, yeah. I've heard um, about it, but I haven't yeah, it's not it, out yet. It's so good, and I got to sit in um, on the table read for that episode. Uh, I think it's the fourth episode, episode okay. four, with um, uh, Ellen Barkin. Oh, Ooh, my God. Love yeah. her. Who was so good. Love her. You just, like, I, I almost was like, oh, that's my line. Like, because <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. you're so busy watching... Um, I worked with Sean Hattesey. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, so He's been around I had for a, a long time, too. Yeah, so yeah. Um, time. He actually knew my uncle, so we oh, talked yeah, about we that. But we had a pretty intense scene. I, ca I can't say um, okay. anything. Um, okay. But it's... Animal Kingdom, episode four. Animal right. Kingdom, episode four. four. I think it'll but... premiere in July. Everybody yeah. go see it. <laughs> yes. Little NSFW, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> You were also on NCIS Los Angeles, which, which stars um, LL Cool J. So when are you going to do Lip Sync Battle? 
Ooh, no. <laughs> I actually wish I was famous enough to do <laughs> to do lip sync battle because that that's like the perfect avenue for me because oh, I can because yeah. I can pretend like I'm, <laughs> I have seen it and I've thought like okay what would I would have Same to here. pick Same here. such a good song and I would have to like have this whole do all like of it, what yeah. would be yeah I was really jealous that Channing Tatum um, who I did Magic Mike with yes. did uh, did Frozen did like, yeah I know. Oh, yeah. Like, that's adorable. amazing. <laughs> and then he did. And then I think he did Janet Jack. No, then he did Beyonce. Yeah, Beyonce. Yep. I was like, only that man can world. be comfortable. You know, he wore a wig and everything. Oh, he wore yeah. Went, he went full on. He even yes. had like the the contour. Yes. I was like, he <laughs> he went for it. <laughs> he I mean, is him, so comfortable. Him and Justin uh, Justin Gordon Leonard who did uh, Rhythm Nation. Yeah, that was I so was awesome. Like, oh, that was so my god. So the choreography. Good. Mm. It was insane. He actually like did it. He did it. He had the ponytail. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, well, yes. you have to have the printing yeah, yeah, to do some nation. <laughs> and then uh, Clark Gregg, the toxic. Oh, yes. Those legs oh, on that man. That was, yeah. <laughs> well, it, why is all these men doing drag? I love it. Like, yeah. yes. <laughs> are there any shows you that are out yeah. now that you would love to be? I would say bring it to the forefront yeah. that you would love to be on. Um, Walking Dead. Oh, yes, yeah. of course. It's the greatest there. show. Walking yeah. Dead. Uh, yeah. I would probably lose... My mind. <laughs> your I would ass. Lose your lose ass. Lose my yes. my mind if I uh, if I got cast on that show. I don't even care. Like I, I, <laughs> even if I was like, hey, God bless. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, like, I would be so, Here's our audition, I would be, right? Here's our audition, right here. By the way, that was fabulous. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> no, no, that, was, that was terrible. I wouldn't. I would not do it that way. Right. She's trained professional. Scott yeah. Noble, I would yes. not do it. Right. Um, <laughs> Um, no, I would be. I would even. I just want to be on the Talking Dead. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I, no, right. I'll settle for that. <laughs> um, Chris Harper. Yes. Yes. Uh, and uh, I, I go see it sometimes because it films right above Young and the Restless. So I'm uh, that or Game of Thrones. But it's mm. Game of Thrones is mostly British. Yeah, it's really British people. people. But I can do a very good. Uh, don't make me do. I'm not gonna do it. Just watch. Like now, I'll be like, oh shh. I can't believe. I can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna sound like. Um, um, uh, oh my gosh, Dick Van Dyke and yes. Mary Poppins. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can't do it. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. That's so funny. I used to say, you know, sometimes you say things and never yeah. know what might, might happen. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna make my dream board, my vision yes. board, <laughs> put it out into the universe, light some candles, <laughs> put some glamours up in here. Um, someone wants to know what has been your favorite scene that you've shot since you've come back? Do you have one? Mm -hmm. So you want Young and Restless? Favorite scene since I've shot... Um, I think the scenes that I did with Sharon when she found out mm -hmm. that I was trying to seduce Nick. Mm -hmm. oh. When I, like, came down the yeah. stairs and I was in... Those were really fun because <laughs> it was, like, yelling. It was dramatic. Um, <laughs> my scene with Greg where we talk about where we both think the other one, like, really enjoyed mm -hmm. our sexy time. Yes, I, <laughs> and neither, and then it's like, oh, wait, you had a bad... You, that was yeah. so fun to do. <laughs> and I just saw, uh, shot some recent stuff with Sharon that I cannot Ooh. say mm. anything about. That it's are just pretty between us three. Yeah. There's nobody <laughs> listening. There's nobody. It's not like this is being broadcast. No, at all. YouTube like or anything. That. Nothing. Mm. What's like, YouTube? Hey, yeah, what's, that? what's YouTube? <laughs> so nothing. It's just a private thing that we do oh, ourselves. Oh, that's okay. That's yeah. cool. All dead. Yeah. We're all... <laughs> that's good. The picture? Mm -hmm. Oh, so let's talk about Walking Dead since we blabbered on about oh, it forever yeah. beforehand. So, let's who's go. your favorite character? <sighs> well, oh gosh, I, I hate Carl. Oh, I, know. So I don't know why. I, I just like so do I. Were, so like do I. he's a little bitch. You were like you were, yeah. you were like yeah. who's my favorite character? And I just went to the character that I hate the most. <laughs> yeah. so, oh, Carl! I was so I cheered. When he, yeah. oh, I'm sorry. This, I'm, yeah. I'm assuming if you're watching this, by you, now, yeah. by now you know. Yeah. When he got shot, I was like, yeah. Yes, I know. Yeah, yes. And then he lived that little turd, turd, yeah. little Excuse turd. Me, sorry. Yes. And, um, no, I love Daryl. Yeah. Yeah. I think Daryl is a great character because he goes back and forth between Glenn. And Rick. Mm -hmm. Rick is on one extreme. Mm -hmm. Although you always, like, you always want that. I I'm kind of the more Rick where I'm like, oh, okay. oh just kill him. <laughs> just kill 
kill kill everyone <laughs> except the people. And Glenn's like, no, save everybody. <laughs> and Daryl has had instances where he's had both tested Mm -hmm. and both ways have kind of screwed Mm -hmm. him Mm -hmm. so he kind of toes this line of like okay where where morally are are we at should we just kill everyone if they're they pose even a little threat or are we still trying to accept people and take people in and and are are we where where's our humanity oh uh but actually that's not my favorite character i just said carol's my favorite character carol carol's amazing like I just love how she just comes in, saves the day. Like, I want to be nope. Carol. She's the best. When I grow up, that's mm. what, that's why this this her recent like uh, like the Freak give out, up. Yeah. Added, I'm like, what? No, what Carol. are you doing, Carol? <laughs> you are a badass. You can't <laughs> deny it. <laughs> well, she was the one who was yeah. well, I'm talking about talk about. Um, storyline arc. Mm, yeah. This whole, I mean, oh from battered gosh. wife from the first season, I mean, to, to now. Yeah. It's like, it's like, and that actress is so much like, what kind of thing? I've got her, I've got her last Melissa name. Melissa McBride. McBride. Oh my gosh. So she is good. So, she's so good, and I want to be Carol when I grow up. <laughs> like, I, I craft my zombie apocalypse plan on who Carol, <laughs> who Carol is as a person. We all have How those, right? I, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Totally. Um, my, it's, it's so funny, though. My, um, uh, my last name is Grimes, mm-hmm. obviously. obviously. Yeah. Grimes. Um, my grandfather's name is Rick Grimes. Oh, how funny. <laughs> so years and years ago, I go to Comic Con every year. Um, it's one of like me and my friends' like favorite. It's I've, the greatest I thing of, ever. I have a bunch of friends um, who are actors. Having grown up in the business, yeah. I have a lot of friends who are on shows and Mm -hmm. and on awesome, you know, kind of uh, cool nerdy shows like that. So we all go to Comic-Con. We have an amazing time every year. And um, years and years ago when I first started going, I, somebody said The Walking Dead, like, oh, I was looking for new comics. Mm -hmm. They're like, oh, you have to read The Walking Dead. So I picked up a copy and I started, and I was like, oh my God. I like ran home to my grandma. I was like, you are like the coolest character ever. (laughs) Rick Grimes. I was like, did this have any sort of like familial significance? Oh, that's so funny. I think it's just a weird coincidence. It's your destiny. That's funny. Yes. It's your destiny. Yes. Destiny. Destiny. So the last thing I really want to ask you is just how do you stay grounded in this crazy, unpredictable business? I have a really big family. So, um, a really great family. So, it's hard when there's so many people to to worry and care about and to love and to um, t- to put them first. Um, it's a, I have a lot of siblings, younger siblings, so I always am constantly trying to remind myself, like, what kind of person are you being for them? Mm. Like, you know... Who would? What would you tell them? Like, what would you want them to, to know or to learn or to? Who would you want them to be? How would you want them to? So that's been great. Um, my family has also done the whole acting thing, so it was really easy to not get a big head about it because it wasn't a big deal. Yeah. I, I stayed in school. Like I, I never was homeschooled. Mm, okay. I went to public school. I just would like get my work packets. It, it was very, it was very normalized. Okay. Like I, I was, it wasn't a ma- made to be a big deal with my friends or with. I wasn't made to feel like I was better than anybody or more special or more even even than my younger siblings. Like they, they even actually got more. Like accolades than I did because I think my parents were like, were like, don't make Cameron's head too big. So I was like, never. So like, they won a science fair and it was like, oh my god, I won an Emmy and they were like, that's good. I guess. What Sounds is like my that? Mom. Yeah, it's like my mom too. That's and, like, yeah. Uh, and uh, and yeah, I have I I've had a lot of friends. I have a really you know, you hear like actors being friends with actors, and it can be mm-hmm. catty, and it can be yeah. competitive, and like mm-hmm. you don't really wish them mm-hmm. well. Mm-hmm. I just have happened to have found like the most amazing mm-hmm. group of friends in LA. Like, it, it's it's just awesome, and mm-hmm. we all we all work, and we're all working actors. We have the same um, we have the same struggles. We have the same 
kind of uh, we get fed up with the same sort of stuff. Yeah, yeah, we have the same yeah. grievances. We yeah. you know, and and then we also have the same likes. We love Disneyland. We love <laughs> like so we 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 keep ourselves busy with our activities and the things that we love and, and keeping each other, you know, really humble and grateful for. Well, they say you make it look easy <laughs> on here. You're well, very no, natural. I make what look easy? Acting and being, mm. being yourself. Oh, that's good. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not happy. So, that, that, that makes me. They say keep me... up the great work, they said. So. No, that's awesome. So Thank thanks you. for being on our show. Yeah. Thank and you have to join the Restless Wrap Up yeah. one day and join I her. I will yeah. absolutely do that. You should have a hunter right. right. come. We'll, we'll oh, bring her on to you. Yeah, sure. We know where to find you because we know yeah. we know people who work who work exactly. with you. Exactly. Yes, we do. <laughs> but um, so Karen, tell folks what besides finding going young and restless, where can they find you on social media if they want to talk oh, to you? Oh, um, I am on Twitter at Cameron Grimes. I am on Instagram at Cameron Grimes. I'm on Snapchat Cameron dot Grimes. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that's that's pretty pretty much it. Lucretia. And again, it's L A C R E T I A L Y O N anywhere on the internet since there is only one. And I'm James Lott Jr. on all mm. social media platforms in the entire universe of the interwebs. Just James Lott Jr. It's really simple. And you can follow <laughs> us on, on YouTube and, and iTunes under AfterBuzz TV Spotlight On. You can look for Cameron Grind's name, it's on the title. Find it here. And we're going to post it online and different things too. So thank you for watching. We'll see Woo. you next time. Thank you guys. Bye. Bye. From executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.